This is the ETBU Sports Net. We're here with head women's basketball coach Rusty Rainbolt, Kim Childress, and Kendra Clark after a win over Centenary. Coach, just to uh, open up about uh, uh, the win today for ETBU. Proud of the girls. Uh, thought that they came back today and after playing a tough game on Thursday and, and losing the way we did, losing a real close one and a tough one, and then we watched film all day yesterday and practiced, had a really, really hard, intense practice yesterday. Um, wasn't quite sure what was going to come out of it. I knew the girls would compete, but I didn't honestly know how much legs and uh, endurance and stamina they were going to have any of them. Um, but I was so proud of the way that they competed today. I thought their effort was fantastic. And uh, it's no doubt it's the best game Kim's played this year, just in terms of all around effort um, and, and production and not just scoring, but just everything else that she did. And, uh, it was it was a good day. I thought we got tougher, which is one thing that we've got to improve on. And, uh, I thought we had to battle through some you know, some challenges. Uh, their, their team gave us some problems in terms of just aggression and, and physicality and stuff, and so we needed that, but I was proud of the girls. Kim, uh, just talk about uh, the, the way the team played and also defensively you guys forced uh, 37 turnovers. Uh, yeah, I think that that just comes down to we watched film for all day pretty much yesterday, and then um, – we just want to hang our hat on defense, and I think that's exactly what we did. We were out getting deflections, making sure it wasn't getting into the high post, and they threw out anything that they could, and I think that we executed really well on the defensive end. Kendrick, just talk uh, about the win, and then also uh, how the offense did there as the game got uh, longer. Um, offensively, I think we did a really good job with our posts. Like Coach said yesterday, we had a really hard practice yesterday, and our posts were working their booties off yesterday and just getting to work, and so it was good to have them be rewarded in the game and just have them go hard and face some really tough defense. And so the post did a great job, and I think that's what helped us a lot this game. Coach, talk a little about just getting ready for uh, next week now as you take these this one today and throw it in next week back into conference play. Yeah, well, we've talked to the team about where we stand as a team and what our goals are, and <clears throat> um, they understand that I, – I think they understand now that, that we have no margin for error. Uh, in the big picture of things. We want to be a nationally competitive team, um, and so you have to play well every single night. You know, we found out last year, um, every game is a challenge, but you know, Louisiana College coming in here, they're really talented, and Bellhaven uh, has the talented players, and they're gonna compete, and so uh, I think the biggest thing is, is you know, these two and a couple of other girls have to make sure that the team is ready. Coaches are always ready. You know, we always watch film and stuff, but it's so important that every single second of the day when we're watching film or we're, and you know, discipleship, or we're on the court practicing, or whatever we're doing, that the players are bought into how important it is to improve. And I think that's the mindset right now of our team is understanding like every day we got to get better if we want to get to the level that we're capable of. These girls are capable of being as good as anybody in the league, and definitely anybody in the country. But it's going to take us improving. So we're really just focused on us right now, trying to get better every single day in a lot of different ways. And so uh, it won't be easy. We know that LC and Bellhaven have good programs, but. Uh, we just got to get better on our end. All right. Thanks for talking to us here on the TV Sportsnet. Thank you.